Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to take the body off of a club car DS. This is a 2001 DS, and the first thing you're going to start with is this back cowl, and you're going to run into probably some pretty sketchy Phillips head bolts here. Get the camera to focus. These are going to be installed. There's two of them. There's one here. There's one over here, and they're not going to want to move when you stick your Phillips head screwdriver in there. But luckily, there's a 7 16 nut on the end so there are through bolts you're going to put your your uh, wrench right here on the nut on this side turn the wrench and back them out they're definitely going to be rusty so be prepared once you get these two screws out i had to take out this battery by the way once you get these two screws out it is starts to become movable and you're going to go around here to the back here you got these little plastic clips and I see a lot of guys, I brought this out here for an example. I see a lot of guys start coming in here with their screwdriver and really prying at these things to get them off. And the problem is you mar up all this plastic when you do it. Go to my link down below. You pick up one of these little kits on Amazon. I can get the clips and this little puller, I think for 10 bucks. And you just basically get under here and pop them out like that. This makes a lot easier work out of pulling these clips out and you're not gonna mess up all the plastic that's around all these little plastic clips. So I'm gonna pop these all out and we'll get to the bolts. I got all the clips removed now. So just lift out of here and you'll see the uh, 22 years of grime and crap all in the uh, bottom of the pan. You search real close here, you'll see what's left of an old screw here and here, these have to come out. And I'm gonna guess right now that the Phillips head's not gonna budge these, but luckily there's a nut on the underside of this. Here. So I should be able to get these out with a socket wrench. Well, I'm trying to take the nut off the backside. It's a lock nut, and these bolts are so old, sheared right off. So. It's not a big deal though, because the nuts are already off of these, so they don't need to be drilled out. But a little modification will have to happen when I put the body back on. So I got a screwdriver under here. I'm just kind of prying. And I'm basically either trying to cut the body around the um, bolt, which is what will happen, or try to get the bolt to lift out, but it's just completely corroded in there. So I'm gonna work on this one and then work on the next one, get this uh, body freed up around the head of these bolts. Just got one side freed up here body of course I'm trying to rip the body around it and then I'll clean up the cut but same thing here it's tearing around there it just sucks these things are so rusted in here more bolts up here for the seat back. Yeah, those have been in there for a while. So that's all the bolts. Should just, yeah, should just start to be nice and loose now. So the only other thing I'm gonna do, get all this uh, front apparatus pulled out of the front of the body. Phillips head on these, Phillips head on this guy. I've seen some people have problems with this, so you're gonna get to see in real time if mine gives me a problem too. I saw one video, some guy was using a Dremel to cut it off, so I'm hoping that's not the case. I mean, it's definitely been on there for a long time. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Then we got these pieces to, that mount the uh, switch to the body. Yeah, those are pretty tight too, but mine are not corroded. Let's get these out. 
Okay, that was all of them. There's a nut that's loose in the back of this switch that'll fall out on you. One just fell out. So those are keyed um, bosses right there. So watch the nut, it'll fall out. Last but not least, these tail lights, Phillips head. Share a spider nest in here. That looks fun. That looks like it just unplugs. All right, so that's all the tail lights taken out of there. With any luck, this should just slip right off. Yep. Hello, body. Hello, golf cart. That's cool. All right. Well, this part of the frame hasn't seen the light of day in 22 years, that's for sure. No one's, definitely no one's had this thing off. But that's the great thing about these club cars. They don't, dec they don't rot. They don't rust. They don't get crappy up north, south. They stay nice. That's that all aluminum frame, which is a, which is a wonderful thing. So that's how you take the body off of a club car DS. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front part and put it in this video. Okay, next is taking off these quarter inch little screws. There's one way up there, one down there on each side of this thing. So what you're basically doing is freeing up this area of the body that's tethered to the frame here. And yeah, they're little machine screws with a quarter inch head on them and a flat head. I mean, there's no point in having a flat head on there. You can see once the screws are out, this little trim wants to come off and this starts to become body. Body starts to become pretty loose in here. So kind of work your way around. There's another bolt up here. We're gonna work off, but I'm gonna get the other two out on the other side. These little bolts here are half inch. They got a nut and a bolt on them. They're more decorative than anything. So this little round head on them and they're keyed, square key on there so they don't rotate around on you. But once that's off, that frees up that metal plate pretty good. And next you're gonna wanna take these two screws out of the bumper and this stupid thing has a nut way under here. It's hard to see. It's got a nut attached to it. And your size on this is gonna be a, I'm using a uh, 13 millimeter and it's getting it off of there. So these must have been replaced because I'm sure the original ones were standard. Phillips head, God man, my camera work. Phillips head here on the front side, you get the screw out and you got two bolts here to get out of there. In case I know that that screw is loose, that should just pull out. That frees up this little lip of the frame here, I'm sorry, of the body. And then once that's done, go to wide here. You can see that thing just wants to fall off of there. So I got some headlights to unplug up in here. So I'll get these unplugged. Looks like the previous guy wire tied them. So I'm gonna clip the wire ties. So the headlights are unclipped. Now, let's just lift that off of there. From the cart hasn't seen a light a day for 22 years so that gives me a pretty good understanding of what i'm working with here so that's how you take the that's the club card ds body removal that's the uh whole process here so if this helped you guys please like subscribe I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers comment if i did something wrong or if you would do something differently but that is how you take the body off of Club Car DS. Now, follow my channel because I'm going to be building this thing from the, from the ground up here into a pretty sweet little rig. So you'll want to stay tuned with that. I have some good, good ideas for this. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you in the next one.